So this is the final drive housing for the 685B hi-ho. See it's double reduction. Hydraulic motor bolts on here and then spins this shaft turns that gear and then there's another small gear on the back side of this one and that drives this large gear and then this shaft has this sprocket on it well tumbler I guess you would call it for these The old, uh, originally this was splined, that shaft had uh, matching splines. They twisted out, I guess it's a common issue on these. So a local machine shop uh, put a tapered sleeve in it with two large keyways to take care of those strip splines. And uh, previous owner didn't have time to put it back together. Been sitting for a number of years, and this is the way I got it. So I'm working on putting it back together so I can get it back home. I cut gaskets. Uh, this is the seal for that shaft. This will bolt onto the bottom of this housing. And let's see if we got this. The seal I was unable to find, it might be proprietary to Hi-Ho or Rockwell. This is a Rockwell reduction housing. You can see it has one lip facing this direction with a garter spring, and then three lips facing the outside and the center is stationary on the shaft and it slides into this wear sleeve and then this sits in this housing and this housing is bolted on there down here I think I'm going to just put this back in and hope it doesn't leak since I can't find it. The numbers on the seal itself are, it says national and then S4596 on the seal. And then on the wear sleeve also says national and this one says A one eight zero five B six hundred. So just gonna put it back together and if it leaks I'll take care of it once I get the machine home. I'll come up with something. I tried to cross reference it to maybe a wear uh sorry, a wheel seal. Hub seal off a tractor trailer. But the closest one has a larger OD by an eighth inch and wasn't sure if I could bore this housing out enough and have it still still be strong enough. And it's only a another sixteenth radial clearance I need to take out, but this already has a slight crack in it that I'm going to weld up and then turn down. So I think I got this final drive pretty much buttoned up. I just finished cutting this gasket for the hydraulic motor. Brake drums on. 
helicoil in this bolt hole. Um, this is where that oddball seal is inside this housing. This is the repair. This was splined originally. And there's two keys that sit on this tapered shaft. So that drive tumbler will sit here. It's a new nut to tighten up. Make sure it's wedged on there good. I just have to make a tool to tighten this. Because I guess this has to reach through the track frame housing to be able to tighten this up. See there's a, a hole here and a hole here. And I've got, this is the old nut I guess. They put um, two roll pins in here that'll line up with those holes. I'm going to weld a piece of pipe on here and then I'm going to cut an end cap for this piece of pipe. That is a, a three quarter inch square drive so I can put a ratchet on it. I picked up a Harbor Freight chain hoist. My plan is to put the put the boom over the section where the uh, final drive is going and then run this chain hoist up over the boom and use that to hoist it in. Uh, I don't want to rely on the hydraulics of the machine and uh, I'm not sure if the swing brake is functional or not so I'll just have the bucket plant on the ground and then hoist it up with this and that should give me uh, the fine adjustment I'll need to get everything to line up. So hopefully I can get this thing home in the middle of June. Still working on finding somebody to haul it. And I'll hopefully that's the next part of this video.
Thank you.